what's going on guys this is master Wu, and we're back with another video today we're gonna be uh reviewing this game that recently came out at the app store and it's like really good graphics look at this very good graphics and uh everything looks pretty good like for a game that just got made by a startup company at least i think yeah they only got one game yeah and it's this yeah just I, I guess it would categorize as a startup company. But yeah, look at this. Got these underground beltways. That's what they're called. And these logic boards that... Look at this. All right. They come together to enter this three-way conveyor belt factory building that makes... Hold on. It's coming out. And it is the game. Builder Mint for age four plus and it's only 24 megabytes and it's apparently a strategy game it's a game where you make factories make a bunch of conveyor belts make everything you know efficient and get a bunch of money and you know it's gonna be really fun but uh that's the the issue is i'm not i don't play games normally all right no, 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 I don't do any game normally. So, like, this... I mean, you can do this if you really want to, but, like, I don't have time for this. Also, these screenshots were taken from the, uh, game, from the screenshots from the app store. My factory, uh, yeah, I'll show you that after I do some fixes here. Alright, there we go. All right, well, factory, yeah, this thing uh lots of materials go go through, and all this gets connected by that one research lab, which takes it all in to get sold. look at this sixty eight point eight k yeah, it's a lot. all right, look at this, a huge factory so the only negatives about this is that uh you can't really build on water and I don't think there's anything that would, you know, allow you to build on water. Like maybe a certain block that you place down on water, but there's none of that. And also it, there's not a lot of like things like people or like buildings and uh it's kinda almost like it, well, I mean, it could use some development. It's almost boring, but it's not boring somehow. Because once you start playing, it gets really satisfying when uh, everything works. And, uh, yeah, I do a bunch of stuff. Like, look at this. Yeah, and get coal from over here. This huge conveyor belt line. Yeah, one conveyor belt line supplies this whole entire sector with coal to make graphite in order to make steel rods. And yeah, over here we got our insanely huge mega copper plant sector thing, you could say. Uh, it It's pretty big. Like, look at this. We got, we got storage units. We have so much we got storage units just chilling around here. And uh, yeah. Also, when like of course, when we talk about game, we gotta talk about the good things and bad things. And here's one of the bad things, you know, these underground belts. I gotta show you this, all right? They're basically like rooks and uh, chess, you know. You can't really like look at this. You come in this direction. All right, hold on. Let's get this started. There we go. All right, now it's gonna produce enough coal for us to do the experimentation. Look at this; it won't go in. All right, look. If it's in that direction, or this, or this direction, it will only go in in the opposite direction in the same line. So, like, I feel like the the developers could make this, you know, a bit more these underground belt weights. Belt beltways, a bit more move, like function a little bit like knights in chess, you know, so it's a little bit better. I mean, you can make it more expensive. I got the money, but like, you can't do any of this. It won't work. Or that it won't work. 
See this? It won't work. But overall, this game's pretty nice. But, I mean, it does take a little bit of grinding. But after a little bit of grinding, you really, like, get a bunch of stuff done. Like, also this game, automatic save. So, really good. And look at this. I feel like that research lab could have a little bit more uh, conveyor belts. Because look how my... I mean, like, look how uh, my conveyor belts are just, you know, packed in there. It's, like, nothing is going inside my machines to make things like fast enough that so like my conveyor belts don't stack up on materials that i had to put storage units there now i do like how you know these storage systems work it's because since you can stack multiple of them at once it's basically like you can have infinite storage but you know just a size difference all right now, I'm not going to be, you know, talking much throughout this playthrough. Whenever there's, like, a feature I want to talk about, I'll just, you know, get some audio in there.
Now I see here I'm adding furnaces with the new their function that automatically adds the furnace, including their level, their uh, level, and their recipe in it already. So I don't have to manually set it. That's a, and that is right there a very good feature I like about this game. So there's this other feature I want to talk about, so it's like right here, so when you, ever, you see that, I don't have to place every single one of them down, with a click of a couple buttons, or a couple of things, I can place down as many as I want, just gotta, you know, make sure I got the money for it, but look at this, I don't have to place every one of them, these conveyor belts down at once, look at this, look! Saves you so much time, and it's and it's a very like good feature, though that is one of the issues there. But you know, it's really good. And look at this, look at this, other side, other side. Look at this. Look at it. Look at this. It's instantly doing all the well. Well, I can instantly do all of this without having to like waste time placing down each and every one of these conveyor belts.
I hope you guys like this, you know, game review. If you like this for like, content I'm doing, you can get the game yourself for like free in the app store, ages four and up. Yes, it's apparently a strategy game. And uh, this game is also like very early in development, so you get to still like have fun with the early stages of the game. And yeah, and look at this great factory. So, uh, mine's not very efficient. But you know, you can make yours better. If you like, like and subscribe, also get the game, it's free. And uh, there's also this one other thing I wanted to talk about, it's the gems, you know. The only, like, real way to get gems is to buy it. They say there's a small chance for you to get it in the, when items enter in, but it's like very small.